Hi kids, today is an exciting day. We're starting our Unfinished campaign, and for the next six weeks, I want you to try your hardest. Tell your mom and dad that you have got to be at church. Saul traveled to the town of Damascus. He intended to put people who believed in Jesus in prison or hurt them. As Saul was getting close to the city, a bright light from heaven suddenly flashed around Saul. He fell to the ground and a voice from heaven spoke, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul asked, who are you, Lord? And the voice said, I am Jesus, the one you are hurting. Go into the city, you will be told what to do. When Saul stood up, he was blind, he could not see. The men with him led him to the city, and for three days Saul did not eat or drink anything. In another part of town, one believer heard his name called, Ananias, the Lord said. Ananias answered, Here am I, Lord. God told Ananias to go to Saul to put his hands on Saul and to heal his eye. Ananias was afraid. He knew that Saul persecuted believers in Jerusalem, and he came to persecute those in Damascus. But Ananias went to Saul and he placed his hands on Saul and he called him Brother Saul. He explained God had sent him to heal Saul's eyes and that Saul would be filled with the Holy Spirit. Suddenly scales fell from Saul's eye. He could see. Saul finally knew and trusted Jesus as, your, as his Savior. He was baptized right away. Saul changed from persecuting people for following Jesus to preaching that Jesus was God's son. Some people believed him, but others remember that he had done in Jerusalem. They were still afraid, but Saul continued to talk to people about Jesus. After many days, men from the synagogue plotted to kill Saul. Saul discovered their plan. He knew that they watched the city gates and they were trying to catch him. One night, the believers took Saul, put him in a large basket, and lowered him down through an opening in the wall. Saul escaped from Jerusalem and was safe. You know, we're like Saul, or Paul. We can have our eyes open to what God wants for us. And when we're given a glimpse of who Jesus is and how he points to us, our eyes are open to see him working around us. We can follow Jesus by keeping our eyes on him. Today, you're gonna get these cool glitter ducks. Every week, we're gonna give you a new duck to represent what we're studying. These glitter ducks will remind you of the blinding light that Paul saw and how he followed Jesus. People can follow the examples, teachings, and commands of Jesus. And I want you to do that. So the word for today is to follow Jesus. Matthew 16, 24 says, Jesus said to his disciples, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny himself, take up their cross and say it with me, follow me.